and today I'm going to be showing you the basics of uh, cracking. Uh, cracking software is basically uh, making it able to do stuff like serial keys, bypassing that, uh, bypassing the trial message, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that's the basics of cracking. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you Crack Me and the software I'm using is Oli Debug. Uh, so this is what normally uh, the program runs as I'm going to show you that first and then I'll show you how to uh, bypass uh, the messages. Uh, This is a file that we're going to crack. You'll first crack me. Found this on a site. It's it's quite simple. If we run it, I'm an ugly nag screen. Remove me. We click OK, and then we get this. We click register. CD check. CD check failed. So we go file exit. So that is a basic program. If we go into Oli Debug, we can see straight away in this window that we can see your first crack me, the actual text here, remove me, the next screen. So if we just click here, we see the hex done, we right click here, and we click right find references. See here your first crack me, we see that. If we double click on that, it will show us to it. And here we go, we can see uh, in this part of the code it says you'll first crack me, I'm an ugly next screen, remove me and this is the message box. So what we're going to do here is we just want to jump over this screen so it doesn't appear when we're running the program. So this is the start of the program, this is the end of the message box. So we want to jump to here. So if we go to the start of the program, double click to edit, And uh, then look at this, go to the side to the code, and then I'm going to put in jump short. If I can type it, let me type in the number 0040013. Click assemble or enter. And then you'll see it will come up with this. You'll first, that's the program with the reference number, and you'll see it there. And it will go to here, and we bypassed that screen. So that is the first stage that we had for the solution. And then also, the solution there was to fix the CD key, and there's also a debugger program. So if we just go down. is debugger present now we don't want this to happen so if we just follow this jump 04717 if we go down there we go found it goes debugger found and then goes out okay so we want to get rid of this now we could do this multiple ways but the way I'm going to do it is so that it can't jump and what we put is no operation I think that's part of code or no operation possible something like that that's what NOP means and we have passed the debugger as I, as we know of so far in Kraken it isn't this easy you have to uh, trial and error it and just try and find it I'm doing this on a YouTube video because I've got a 15 minute limit but usually you'll find it. So we've got this out. This is just going to be a part of the random code now. You won't be able to get to that. And then we find here your first crack me, CD check pass, CD check failed. 
So we want CD check failed to jump to CD check passed. So if we just look at the push, look at the uh, CD check pass number 0401. Like so we do jump, jaw. O O O four O one one nine nine. There we go. Click assemble, and then it comes up with no operation code possible because uh, we just jumped it. So we'll go to here instead of doing that. So if we just right click here, uh, copy to executable all modifications, copy all. Here it is, the code, then we right click, back up, save data to file. And then we uh, I'll put in a little alteration so it isn't the same, I'll put crack. And then we go into the downloads folder and then right click. You see we don't get the NAG screen. So we've got past the NAG screen, click register. CD check, CD check passed, okay, that's cool. Click file. What's happened here? There's no it's not responding, there's some sort of error. Usually within programs they have this sort of thing to stop you doing this. So we're gonna have to look into the code again to find it. Hopefully no. Right, so if we look at CD check passed, it's got this code your first O four four F five go to F five int three. Okay, and what does fail do? It jumps to EF. So what we want to do here is it's found that we we've passed it, and now we want to do is we want to make sure that it doesn't crash because it's some sort of uh, security mechanism so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the failed one it's a EF and we're just going to copy that into the pass so we only need to change two characters and that's E and F alright and now we should be ready let's have a look at the code now so we go copy to executable all modifications, copy all, and then right click, back up, save data to file, uh, overwrite your crack, save. Let's have a look at it now. So we've got to remove the nag, nag screen, CD check has passed, then we can click file and exit. No problem at all. That is our first crack me that we've done. I'm going to be doing more in the series. This is the first one. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's how do you do your first crack me. Uh, I'm going to put the file of the download in the description uh, so you can try it out yourself with Lolly Debug. Thank you for watching.